RX 7900 XTX is finally here and it's looking pretty great from a price to performance perspective. And if you're considering getting one, it's quite easy to be overwhelmed by plenty of aftermarket variants that are currently available. In this video, we have listed the 5 best RX 7900 XTX GPUs to help you pick the right one. Welcome to Techfluencer, where we test and review countless tech products to help you make the best purchasing decision. Our tech expert team stays busy to keep you updated on latest tech trends and advancements. To purchase the right product, check out the links in the description. Starting off, we have the Founders Edition RX 7900 XTX, which just might be one of the best looking AMD cards that we have seen so far. Unlike its Nvidia counterpart, the card is reasonably sized and will fit most PC cases without any hiccups. It's based on the RDNA 3 architecture with about 96 compute units and 24 gigs of GDDR6 memory on a 384-bit memory bus. The base frequency for this card starts at 1.9 GHz with the boosted clock frequency being up to 2.5 GHz. For ray tracing, we have about 96 RT cores on this thing which is quite impressive judging by the price range it's coming from. With a power requirement of 355 watts, AMD recommends having an 800 watt power supply for this one to be in a safe spot. But what really caught our eyes about the RX 7900 XTX is the inclusion of DisplayPort 2.1 standard which is lacking on the NVIDIA RTX counterpart. With this move alone, AMD has made itself stand out and made its card ready for next-gen high refresh rate monitors. We gotta see plenty of liquid-cooled aftermarket cards this year. And the Aqua OC RX 7900 XTX from ASRock does look pretty sleek. With the RDNA 3 chips inside and plenty of high-quality IC surrounding it, the card is likely to stay durable for plenty of years to come. It even has an acrylic backplate that gives it a stylish look and a polychrome sync RGB effect that has a little gamey vibe to it. The clock speed on this thing are superb, given it has 2510 MHz of game and 2680 MHz of boost clock speed. For connectivity, Aqua OC brings along 3 DisplayPort 2.1 and 1 HDMI 2.1 port and for power, it uses 3 8-pin power connectors. Users who are planning on custom cooling their 7900 XTX build should consider this card without giving it much thought. Moving on, we have the Aorus Elite 24G from Gigabyte, a visually stunning RX 7900 XTX card with remarkable clock speed and intensive cooling performance. Now, when we say remarkable clock speed, we are referring to its 2510 MHz game clock and up to 2680 MHz of boosted clock value that sure does deliver a hell of a blow. To further emphasize the design, Gigabyte has done an awesome job in sketching this beautiful card as it showcases sleek lighting effects that hold the premium wow factor perfectly well. Moving on to the cooling performance, this card features Aorus's signature wind force cooling solution where you also get the option of alternate spinning fans. The result? Even more enhanced thermal performance during heavier load. Lastly, it has been given a protective metal backplate with vent cutouts to keep it safe from dust pileups and accidental damages as well as unrestricted airflow. It requires three 8-pin power connectors to function and has plenty of display connectivity of the Founders Edition card. Simply put, the Aorus Elite 24G is an outstanding RX 7900 XTX GPU with the perfect blend of performance and aesthetics. From Asus, we have the TUF Gaming OC, a more robust and buffed up version of the RX 7900 XTX GPU with greater overall cooling performance. This all aluminum construction GPU has an axial tech fan design, where the center fan rotates opposite of the outer duo for lower cross fan turbulence, which significantly increases the cooling efficiency. Additionally, it has dual ball fan bearings that increase the durability of the fan to make it last longer compared to traditional designs you'll get about 2500 MHz clock speed in default mode and can even crank it up to a maximum of 2525 MHz in OC mode to squeeze up that extra bit of frames. What's more, this GPU offers two BIOS choices where one is for default mode and another one for quiet fan operation for a tranquil gaming experience. 
Overall, the TUF Gaming RX 7900 XTX is a sturdy one with a better thermal solution, increased durability and improved power efficiency. And finally, we have the Gaming OC24G from Gigabyte, a stylish 7900 XTX card that features Gigabyte's signature metallic design and top-of-the-line thermal performance. This card boasts Gigabyte's signature black and grey metallic design that further stretches to the back plates as well, giving it a minimal yet premium outlook. For effective heat dissipation, this card has been designed with Gigabyte's wind force cooling solution where three 100mm fans spin alternatively. Moreover, you can adjust the clock speed and fan performance using the dedicated Aorus engine software. As for the performance, it has a game clock speed of up to 2330 MHz and a boost clock speed of up to 2525 MHz, which is slightly higher than the reference model. The four ports on the IO panel includes two HDMI 2.1 and two DisplayPort 2.1 ports, enabling you to pair it up with high refresh rate monitors if you prefer. Overall, the RX 7900 XTX Gaming OC is an amazing card that features Gigabyte signature design and will perfectly fit most standard PC cases. So, that was all about the top 5 RTX 7900 XTX GPUs. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.